the start of something ugly, and yet beautiful at the same time. Hello, my name is Cosmic Glade, with a new setup. You see how that game's not lagging anymore? We'll get to that after the battle. This is this is also an update video, by the way, if you couldn't read the title. Anyway, today we're up against Coach Kurt and his East City Bishops. We have the Verizion. Oh, the toddler, the good boy toddler. Articuno, who has been surprisingly pulling his weight. Like, I did not expect Articuno to do this good at the start of the season, but he's been doing good the past couple weeks. The Ments, Clubbable, and... He has the Spectrier, the Mesprit, the Tapu Finfin, the Cradley, Nido Queen, and Shinchido. Right off the bat, his leads are pretty obvious from my eyes, at least. Either the Feeny or the Cradley. It could be Mesprit to pull some similar shenanigans as uh, Yuxi, but only time would tell. So starting out, we led the Dodling because I like my webs. No matter how deadly, no matter how good his defoggers are, you need answers for Ghost Horse. My matchup versus Ghost Horse is a terrible one. Hey, but Lucario could bully punch it, but that's all I could do, and I'm not even bringing Lucario this week. You know, he brought, he led the Chinchino. I should have seen that coming from the start, but whatever. He's going to Rock Blast. I knew I could live at least one bout of it. So I knew it was safe to stay in and Sticky Webs. As he just wants to go in and we Sticky Web. So the thing is set and Godly can go down in peace. And yeah, it's gone. None of that. Ditto. Now here's the deal. I'm, if memory serves correctly, the only way I killed it was with Tail Slap. However, there is no way he goes Spectrier here. Because if I'm not Scarfed, then Spectrier just dies. So I think I'm safe to Tail Slap here. He could have gone Cradley, but at that point we could scout out a set and we would get fine. The crit didn't matter in this case, and Chinchino goes down. Next up, Tapu Fini, and I have no and I had no doubt in my mind this thing was about to defog. So I decided, let's get Articuno in here. We have the freeze dry. Now the Cradley, and I'm thinking, does he not know I get freeze dry? Maybe he's special defensive, but whatever, it's fine. Damage on Cradley, this thing is an annoying wall. We have answers for it, but that doesn't change the fact how annoying it is. Anyway, we freeze dry, doing about half. You know, when I play leagues, I try not to hack my way to victory. Like, it was funny the first time we did it. Like, when, it when we did this last MLP season, it was funny. This ain't funny. Stop it. Get some help. Either way, Cradley is frozen. Now, the, the only solace is I think I could have lived a rock slide, but that's not really much co to comfort me. And at this point, the Cradley is dead weight. Anyway, he goes into the Mesprit, and we miss a Hurricane, so that does make me feel a little better as he wants to sub up. Anyway, we just freeze dry, breaking his sub as he goes for the Calm Mind. And this thing is very capable of sweeping me, should it be given the chance. So I go into a Verizion Wireless just to punch holes in this. While it is a good, while I do might need it later for weakening down Feeny, I think it's just, I think it was worth it to get rid of it here. Anyway, he goes for the stored power, revealing he is that set. And that is respect. I'm actually doing something similar on Clefable this week, but we'll get to that in a few turns. Anyway, we Leaf Blade. I don't think about the crit since it's a high percent crit chance. At this point, I just need to punch it really, really hard. So we go into Salamence. And I miss a Hurricane again. And he skill swaps. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought Intimidate only activated on Switch. And that's actually good to know for future reference. Either way, that is a good, that's actually really good tech. I can't tell if it was to deal with Clefable's Unaware. Or to steal Intimidate. But either way, that is a brilliant strategy, actually. So kudos to Kurt. That is a smart idea. Anyway, we just drop Dracos, because I do not want this thing getting up more Calm Minds. So he's going to Sword Power. And I don't really see much else I could do, so I'll just drop another Draco, because this thing needs to die before it can heal. I don't know if it had a healing move, regardless. I go into Articuno, my best special wall on, this, on the Ghost Horse. And Ghost Horse be Ghost Horse. No matter, I, I, don't, I don't care how good Clefable is, it's a ghost horse. Ghost horse is ghost horse. Remember that. 
And he is going to nasty plot. As long as we can keep up the pressure, we can do this. And he is going to disable. This man has... His brain is big. Bigger than mine. I'll give him that. That is, that is some really creative tech team building. And if I missed one hurricane, he would have had game on board. But we, but we take a Shadow Ball. And he lives on three. At this point, we can kill Freeze Dry. And he decides to Hurricane I don't know why he clicked Sable again, instead of just going for the kill. Maybe he knew that if we did, we can go Ditto and win 4 0. Regardless, he goes Nido Queen. I think it's time to sack off Articuno. And I know this thing's Scarf now. So at this point, I'm thinking, oh, it's time I, it's time to set up a little bit. I go into Clefable. As he goes into Tapu Fini. And we'll begin pulling our own shenanigans with Cosmic Power. And he taunts us, so good play. This man is a big brain. Unfortunately, all the smarts in the world are no match for dumb luck. And we take zero thanks to that Kibia Berry. I don't know why, but I love my little resistant berries. It's just so delicious. Um nom 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 nom. Anyway, Nido Queen goes. Well, it's not gonna go down, actually. Nido Queen will live on two. A stored power kills. Not kills, actually. Sorry. So Clefable goes down, but it did its job. It did 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 did, did its job. At this point, we win. Clefable Ditto just comes in, clicks Sludge Wave a couple times because we know he is the Scarfed variety. And yeah, so we are going to take this game. We Sludge Wave, Surf, we live on two. I'm pretty sure, I think it was a roll in our favor. I don't remember the exact calc though. But regardless, we win. Again, Kurt, I am so sorry about the hacks. But let's end this video on a more positive note. You may have noticed, there's no lag on the game anymore. My voice sounds a little different, for the better, hopefully. That's right, new computer, the days of the Mac are long gone. No longer are we locked strictly into GBA games if we want good content. We will massively improve. We have Collabs coming up, Parsec is now a viable option, so expect Soul Links to go up soon. And even more projects. Maybe even Mario Party. Now I am looking forward to showing you guys what I have in store for 2021. And, as I guess I'll just say, Happy New Year's, guys! My New Year's resolution? Make the betterest content. And to not win by hacks every single game. But hey, we can only do one of those things. Anyway, see you guys next time! Bye!